today lecture i'm going to discuss what how to find sum of multiple columns in microsoft sql server table so here i'm using the table hr employees so this is the record inside the hr employees now after that uh, going to do the sum of columns so here you can see employee id first name last name email this all our columns are there so let's do the with query so first writing the uh, select statement so select uh, and uh, uh, from hr dot employees so this i have written now the next is here so doing the summation of first uh, name and the last name so writing this place first name and uh, the next is here last name that's come there after that the next is here this place so this place let's use the bracket and writing first name and uh, we don't need to use concat operator concat operator is used to concat or merge the strings but if you are using a plus with the string then that will do also that will perform like concatenation okay so let's write here next is last names and thereafter as for alias and here total so with the help of this query we can uh, merge uh, two columns first name and the last name so let's execute this query so now you can see uh, here first name and last names that merge and the uh, output that comes there okay so after that the next uh, is here we can merge uh, multiple columns not only two so let's uh, uh, combine email also email so or uh, this place you need to use here plus email okay and after that here we need to use the comma so when i execute to this query then this times this or uh, do the sum of uh, three or uh, columns first name last name email and output is this place so this uh, i have done with the so this that i have done with the strings let's do or uh, this time so uh, going to use here or columns like uh, salary and manager id so this times or this place let's use uh, or salary and uh, salary is the integer times and uh, the next is manager id okay and uh, here this times removing or this trace so let's write here or salary comma manager id underscore id comma to separate after when i execute to uh, or this query or uh, then or uh, you can see or uh, this here 24000 adding with the null so this so uh, null it's so uh, returning so if you are all uh, doing the addition with the null so null and 24000 that's returning the null but uh, when to integer that uh, try to add 17000 plus 100 that comes 17100 the same here and 9000 with 102 that comes 9102 6000 with 103 6103 that's compare okay so if you if a table have a multiple or uh, or uh, in numeric columns then you can uh, use the plus operators to do the summation okay so let's uh, uh, check uh, another table so hr departments if i use uh, this uh, or table this stamps so now you can see if you want then you can add the manager id and the location id so this place you need to write here location id 
and manage location ID, then if you do, then this will do the summation. Make sure that if the null and uh, numeric, if you add, then that return the result null. So this is how we can do the sum of multiple columns in Microsoft SQL Server. So I hope guys, this video is helpful for you. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.